Hey everyone, welcome to that photo show down here. Mick here. Hello. Sorry, right. I just did a large exhale. Nice. Feel better? Or uh, were you was that a a calming meditative process? Hard to tell. <laughs> awesome. So we're doing a, a, a Mickey Magic surprise today. I wanted to do a, a show on boosts, but boosts with a different approach. And I didn't want to tell Mick what I was doing. And in fact, I didn't even want to show him the pedal board. I so need a boost, Dan. You don't need a boost. You are my boost. <laughs> the joy that emanates. If you're confused, let's do some housekeeping. Uh, yes. First of all, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, a massive thank you to anyone that's gone to thatpuddleshowstore.com and grab some merchandise. Tis the season. Please buy merch. It's how we fund this show primarily. Another way is via that pedalshop.com in the US. You can go there and buy stuff. Uh, and what else do we have to say? Yeah, just that pedalshop.com. Please go there. Fantastic. Okay. Some A different approach to boosts. I'm going to do the reveal. Okay. Right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. And you are completely unsurprised because no. there's nothing on there that's lots of, lots of nice things. Lots Does of this nice work? Things. Yeah. Good. Yeah, one LED doesn't work, but that's okay. Fair enough. We uh, the, there there is a story. Um, we lent the last one to Joey Landreth, and it it got either stolen or something on tour, and so we had to get a new one. And I'm glad it works, Dan. Yes, it does work. Uh, there'll be a quick continuity gap while I just sort out the pedal board camera. And back in the room. Back in the room. Okay. So the way I've, I've set this up is that there's a rhythm sound. Okay. And from there, we have three levels of boosts. Yeah, rewind. Why are we doing this? Well, I've been experimenting with a couple of things recently. I, I may or may not have been working on something. Uh, in your other life. In my other life. Oh, I see. And it has sent me down this really fascinating uh, rabbit hole. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to just talk about the concept, and you know, and, and we're doing this. We're going to be diving into gain structure and 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 you know, and a few things that I've discovered. So volume, gain, dynamics, feel, all that stuff. Okay. Headroom. It's so this is guitar tone 101 stuff. It is, but this is coming at it from another angle. Okay. Right. So you're going to have to be give me a bit of leeway because I've 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 set up the amps to sort of to uh, show the point to, to okay. demonstrate the point as opposed to I'm going to make the amp sound amazing. I'm intrigued, Dan. Okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> first thing I'm going to do, you're going to turn on the rhythm sound. And um, what I want you to do, uh, you, so we've got the Walrus 385 yep. that I've set up a little bit crunchy. The DNM drive, which can you can you know, use as a boosty thing or use as a yep. you know memory man and headroom. So I want you to play and just get a nice rhythm sound that you're happy with. See how we okay. feel. Yeah, I'll, try, yep. I'll start on the strat. It might be that we move to humbuckers, but let's see because I quite like the 385 with humbuckers. <laughs> I already know something weird is happening because the deluxe reverb is on four and a half. Yeah, and there's that sound coming out of it. And there's nowhere. Yeah. So is that just the two rock then? Just the two rock. Okay. Just the two rock at the moment. Yeah, and again, it's it's nice and quiet. So yeah, yeah. We'll see where so, we go. Okay, so just for giggles, I'm going to put on uh, your side of the DNM drive. Right. And a little bit of reverb. Okay. Okay. So just. <laughs> Like that? Love the reverb. Right. It's yeah, the headroom, man. It's the one. Okay. So now we're going to go to the first level of boost. Okay. okay? So if you play, yep. I'm going to kick in the first level of the boost. Ready?
I could turn the reverb down just a touch if you don't sure, mind. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you do your thing. So more mid range. Okay. I felt like I was hearing more mid range, and there was a loss of sparkly high end. When 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 the boost was kicked in. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. What are you going to tell me or? Yeah, yeah. So all that happened there was in the rhythm sound. I've got a passive volume pot. Okay. At the end of everything. And it's just turned down a little bit. When I go to the boost, I'm simply bypassing huh. that volume pot, boosting into amplifiers. And it's a glorious thing done properly, right? We all know that. And all the shows we've done boosts have concentrated around pushing more signal into the amplifier. Disclaimer, Dan, disclaimer, it all, this all depends on the way that you run the amplifier. But what, today we're talking about amplifiers with headroom. The idea behind this is that we find our boosted level, like, you know, the maximum uh, level that we'll use, and we come back a bit from that. Yeah, like an underdrive. It's like an under, uh, as, yes, it's like an underdrive, but what we're doing, we are creating, you know, we're creating the sounds on the pedal ball. We're relying on the character yeah. of the preamp, but we're also relying on its headroom. Yeah. Okay, so the great thing about doing it like this is by reducing the level, we're not changing, drastically changing the characteristics of the relationship between, you know, with the preamp and the uh, phase inverter, all that stuff. Yeah. On the proviso that we're not using that preamp to slam into the phase inverter to get a distortion that way. Yeah, if you were running a gainy amp and you did that, you'd, you'd simply just lose gain which is an equally valid way of doing it. Sure, sure. But run so run like this with an amplifier that's got a bit of headroom. Yeah, nice. Um, the idea behind that is, okay, we're just going to, for the rhythm sound, we're just going to pull it back. You know, instead of boosting into the amplifier and, and asking it to work harder, yeah. we're going to let, let the amplifier just feel Yeah, more... it gives you a better chance to get your amp on that nice place where it's just there as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it goes into heavy overdrive, maybe. So if we do, you know, let's, let's turn on the the um, memory man at 385 yep. and do the same thing. Lovely feel today. Yeah. Not quite sure what's going on there. It feels well, great. Today. So, right. Here's what I think is going on. Because of the amps that you and I gravitate towards. And this is just all the two rock, right? It's just we haven't the heard two the rock. deluxe yet. No. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Just the two rock. What we're doing by reducing for our rhythm sound, reducing that signal going in, is the amp is so open. Right. It's got, it's just clarity. The boost is just basically unity into the amplifier. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not slamming into the front. We're not asking the amp to work harder. We're just saying, okay, you're going to be open. And uh, by boost, you mean one of these pedals? Um, well, so what, what actually, by boost, by removing yeah. that attenuation. Okay, so yeah. We're just... The, the signal then lifts to unity and the amp is, is just set louder. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, I the more I play with this, the more I'm thinking actually that I really like this approach. Nice. Um, because we're not fundamentally changing the game structure and the amplifier by slamming signal into it. Yeah. I think it would become even more applicable if your amps, oops, even if your amps just on the edge of overdrive. Yeah. I think that would, that would be a really nice way to do it. Absolutely, because that, with a with a boost pedal when your amps on the edge of overdrive, everything changes. The gain yeah, structure yeah. is altered so fundamentally. Um, yeah. So that is a really simple, sort of under level type. Thing because there's no there's no extra overdrive or anything of that. It's like having a, a volume pedal, just a volume pedal on the end, exactly. Yeah, which a lot of and you just, will already do, yeah, yeah. But it's just something I've never done, by the way. Yeah, so. but that's sort of the level is preset, and we're just sort of kicking it in and out. Nice. Okay. okay. So that is our that is our boost level number one. Now we're going to go to boost number two. Okay. <laughs> Dan will play, by the way. It's not just me. So uh, we'll go to boost one. And yep. I want you to set up a sound that you like. Yeah. And then we're going to go to this level. Let's, uh, let's, let's, why don't we have some humbuckers nice. to uh, nice. vary it up a bit for you humbucker fans. I do get moaned at because uh, I keep changing guitars all the time, but then I get moaned at if I don't keep changing guitars all the time. So Yeah, I, I change guitars much, much less I'm because just, I'm... I'm just trying to keep you interested because not everyone likes strats. I don't fundamentally Who doesn't like strats? don't understand that, but no, no. So this is a much more powerful guitar. Okay, so we'll start with the rhythm sound again, and right. then we'll go to the first level of boost. So. Much thicker, much more overdrive, much more vocal mid-range. Yep. So I'm assuming that's the zenith, is it? Yeah, but I'm not boosting. The zenith was on for the rhythm sound and boost one, and it was actually <laughs> cutting mids. Okay. So what we're doing, the reason I wanted to use the TS-1, the TS, the, the two rock, it has this incredible harmonic vocal mid-range, right? And when you're when you're playing, you know, the the grissomy, uh the sort of slippery licks, that that tone is is incredible. But for a lot of rhythm stuff, it sort of might be too much because it's yeah, so yeah. prominent. So thick. Yeah. So what I did, the Zenith from Hampstead, it's a really clever EQ with compression, but you can do this with any EQ pedal. I am, instead of boosting mids, I'm taking out mids from that amplifier. So what you're doing is, as it gets louder and thicker, you're turning the pedals off. Exactly that. Yeah. I'm taking things <laughs> out of the signal path. Yeah. And the so, again, this all comes down to gain structure. If you imagine that amp, <laughs> and right? it's, an, it's an open goal for all of those pe or those of you who say, "Yeah, amps sound much better without pedals." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but so the the EQ for that rhythm thing, it puts the guitar in a place that's going to work really nicely in context with a with a band with a singer. Yeah, I'm not changing the 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 volume of of anything except for the the mid range frequencies. Yeah, everything right. else is at unity. But normally what we're so used to doing with boost is boosting mid-range and pushing that into the amplifier. Yeah. In this context, just doing it I've taken out mid-range and around. the boost is just letting the mids and the amplifier do its thing. So just to confirm that then, when the rhythm sound was on, the zenith was on. Yes. Boost one, the zenith was off. No, boost one, the zenith is on still. Okay. So all, so the rhythm oh, sound, two. yeah, the rhythm sound had the volume, uh, the volume, 
pot and the xenathon. Yeah. Right. Boost one, I'm take. I get the volume out. Yeah. Boost two, I'm taking the EQ out. Yeah, but right? the these stay on all the time. Yeah, yeah. This They're is just, just that one. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, yeah. take. You know, you, you're creating your sound and. Yeah. All I'm the boost one and boost two. All I'm doing is taking out the EQ and taking out the volume control. Let me hear how that sounds with the uh, overdrive stacked. I don't know what the dB meter was saying, but it, there wasn't a massive volume jump. No, it's no, just between boost one and boost two. The shape, absolutely, is all is what it's all about. Absolutely. So yeah, we're, right. we're instead of when we think of boost, a lot of the time we think of increasing our signal and slamming it into the front of something. And in all honesty, it's a great way to do it. This is just coming at it from a different angle. We're taking an amplifier. I mean, so this is obviously a really good example, but anything Tweedy, you mm. could do this with. Anything that's got that, uh, you know, Voxy, anything that's got that mid-range that's, that's pokey, actually, by carving out that yeah. frequency and using it as, you know, your rhythm sounds, and, you you know, it's not as if the sounds with the EQ on weren't great. They're fat and full and, uh, and articulate. What I find is... It's a lot easier to take something out frequency-wise than it is to add it in. It's a great lesson for anyone doing any EQing as well. Yeah. Just, you know, if you're EQing tracks in recorded music, subtractive EQ is can get you to where you need to be much quicker than trying to boost everything. It's really hard to add something in that isn't there yeah. or, you know, is there in tiny amounts. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the idea of just letting the app do its thing by you know, the first thing we'd do is reduce some volume yeah. and then open that up. Second thing is by taking out some of that mid range. And obviously that's quite a drastic, yeah. uh, but it's just so that you can hear the just effect. Play, um, so if I'm right in think, if I get this right, if we leave the uh, overdrive pedal off for a second, yep. rhythm is going to be with the volume pot and the Zenith. Yes. Boost one is going to be just the volume pot. Boost one is just the zenith. Just the zenith, and yep. boost three is neither of them. Exactly. Okay, so we're 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 reducing as we go. Exactly. And here you go. Then no overdrive. <laughs> So boost three is guitar straight into amp. Yeah, boost, I mean, there was a bit of reverb on there. Sorry, like, boost two, guitar straight into amp. Yeah. Wow, that is mid rangey isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it's gorgeous. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's got all those really magic frequencies. Okay. Groovy. So the final boost. <laughs> I think and, I know what's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is something that I've seen a lot of artists do, and yeah. it is just magic. <laughs> so 
So here you go. If you drop, grab a sound yeah. that you like. Okay. Sorry about the continuity error. I just could not get the PRS in tune. It would not go in tune. And that's got new strings on it. Brand new strings yeah, today. I was having a problem with it earlier today. Maybe the intonation needs looking at, or I need looking at. Simply could not get it in tune. You look fantastic, mate. Which is annoying, because I like the sound of that guitar. Anyway, there we are. Uh, right, sorry, where were we done? So what I want you to do yep. is I want you to set up a sound. To set up a it? sound, okay? deliberately gone for a very mid-heavy sound because I'm interested to see what happens. Okay. Right. Play, and then I'm going to hit boost three. So, this may seem really obvious. You don't, need to talk over the, me. Don't, don't need to me talk out of the reverb trails. But here's why that's really important. The, the concept that we've been looking at is not changing the gain structure yeah. of the amplifier that we're boosting. We're limiting the amount that's going into it and letting the amp just do its thing without pushing it too hard. When we went and saw Joe Bonamassa at the Royal Albert Hall and he had all of those amplifiers, they weren't all on at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he would use, and like the the marshals, he would kick on at certain times when he wanted a little bit extra. Oof. And there's a few artists that I've seen do that. The reason being is because they get this magic sound from their main amplifier and they don't want to touch it. Yeah. And I think I certainly know for myself that there's been times when I've been, I've had this rhythm sound that's been, and it's felt fantastic to play and really gorgeous. And I go to hit the boost and I fundamentally feel everything change with the amplifier. The idea, and I know it seems like uh, overkill, but... It's that pedal show. I know, I know, because I'm seriously thinking about adding a third amp. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the idea behind having an amplifier just yeah. for boost and sections that need a lift yeah. is so that you don't, touch the gain structure of that amplifier that you've got set to that magic point. Yeah. So imagine that you've got the amp dimed and, uh, you know, and it's you, you're getting everything off your volume control and it just sounds fantastic. Boosting into that is simply going to give you more gain. It's not going to give you more, yeah, and, yeah. and that can be really cool, but that yeah. thing where you just, where you actually want the lift, the lift kicking in a second amp, and it, and it can be anything. Uh, Taylor. I've got an idea. Okay. Can we try? Have we have we have we finished presentation number one pretty much? Yeah, yeah. I've got something I want you to try then. Okay. So the way you've got it set up was the two rock was the, the rhythm amp. Yes. As it were. Yes. And the deluxe reverb gets switched in for the lead amp. Yeah. You want to try the other way around? If I swap those leads around, that'll be fine, won't it? No problem there. Oh, it, just it, here. It just means our Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because everything will work. Of course. Okay. Uh so Dan, um, 
what what I'm going to ask Dan to do then is set up a is, is repeat what he's just asked me. I, okay. I want you to set up a sound in the deluxe reverb. Okay. That you really like. I'll explain why I'm doing it this okay. way around. All right. In a second. So bear with me a sec. Um, what's going to happen now is Boost Three will switch into Two Rock. Okay. While the deluxe reverb is on all the time. Okay. So get a sound in the deluxe that you that you like. Okay. All right. All right. As your rhythm sound. Okay. See what we'll see what happens. Okay. So when I switch boost three in, the two rock will come on. Yes. And then if 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 it feels like it needs it, I'll dial it in. Okay. So That's interesting. The reason I did that was because, generally speaking, the deluxe reverb is a much more mid scooped amp than the two rock. Right. But I think because of the way you've got the the overdrive set up there, it was actually putting loads more lower mids back in. Oh, okay. Back into the deluxe. But what I did with the two rock was just dialed in more of that upper mid, mm. more cut. Because that's Dan mentioned Bonamassa earlier, and that's how he does it. He sits the sort of he sits his Marshall Jubilees as the main rhythm tone. Okay. Scoopy and right. then punches in the dumbbells Interesting. and the tweeds to, to kick out that mid range. Right. So, yeah, a bit of a, bit of a weird crackle going on. Um, cool. Yeah. I just thought it would be really fun to go through some just different approaches to getting that the louder bits. Yeah, and back to the top, it really is. Guitar Tone 101, isn't it? Because you've got guitar, amp, stuff in between. Mm. How much do you want that amp working? How much do you want the stuff in between working? Do you guitar, amp, and then use the stuff in between to make amp louder? Yeah. Or do you guitar, amp, and make the stuff in between to make the guitar amp quieter? Yeah. And that's just gain staging and yeah. feel and all of those things. But I think it? I, it's hard to get your head around making it quieter. Yeah, why would you take away? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but... You know, the beautiful thing about, you know, pedals and amplifiers with headroom is that, you know, an amplifier that's sensitive for the input, it can take, you know, the, the range of, of stuff it'll take and still sound great is, is amazing. The other thing that's really important to say as well 
is that this will work with amplifiers with an effects loop. Yeah. You know, the same thing. And in some instances work better. Um, if, you know, because it might be that you're, the way that you're hitting the front end of the, of the amplifier is a really important way that, you know, that, that you're getting your sound. If, you know, you're creating your overdrive in the preamp channel. So putting a, a switchable volume thing in the in the loop. Yeah, there are products that exist for that. Yeah. Specifically designed to sit in the effects loop of your amp to switch it quieter. Yeah, it's the same, but it's the same concept. Yeah. You know, um, we're just, it's, it's gain staging. We're just, uh, you know, you can put boosts in the loop, but for me, you are, you end up, if you're a gig volume, right, and you, you're boosting in the loop, you're going to end up driving that power section. You just get more saturation. You do, you do. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, it, and it can work. It can work great. Yeah. But for me, that the clarity that you get when you have your amp set to be the loudest thing that you want and then you take away to for your, for your rhythm sound, I, I, I'm liking that more and more. Nice. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay. Um, that's the end of the normal video. So if you've, if you've learned everything you want to learn, switch off now. There's one more thing I just want to try for the hell of it, hell okay. of it before we before we sign off. All right. Um, which is an idea that's just sprung to mind. So no pedals. Okay. Right. Well, reverb if you want, but okay. no overdrives, no nothing. Okay. Both amps. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put the two rock, I'm going to get the deluxe drive in a bit. Okay. And get the two rock in the lead channel and switch that in. Okay. For the overdrive. So all pedals off. Right. Please. Yep. Okay, all pedals are off. Yeah, yeah. Let's get let's get this um, deluxe reverb overdriving a little bit. So go for it. Okay. Happy? Very, very happy. Happy Sounds for amazing. a nice um, overdrivey sound. Yeah, yeah. Good, good rhythm sound. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to dial in the Two Rocks lead channel. We, we might be out of phase when we switch to the lead channel. We'll just work that out. Okay. Sec. Yep. So if you just if you play and I'll switch this in. Okay.
Wow. For, for most of that, the DM drive wasn't on, but um, again, it's pretty hard to hear just to sort of stood there. Mm. But yeah, same same principle. Same thing. Just so, achieved in a different way. Exactly. The deluxe was set at that point where it was magic. And then just to get more, added another amplifier. Deluxe yeah, didn't change. At that point on the deluxe, for those of you, it was the... Um, the volume was up between six and seven, which is quite drivey, actually near a seven for mm. a deluxe reverb. That's the sweet spot for that amp, it's about seven. If you hit it with any sort of overdrive pedal at that point, it's just gonna get mushy and yeah. lovely and brilliant. Yeah. But there's no more clarity. So you add in the second amp for the punch in the middle, and that's how Bonamassa does it. Just fantastic. Happy days. So good. Nice. Very that good. was interesting, Dan. Good. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Yeah, really fun. Anyway, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. Uh, also, massive thank you to anyone that's gone to thatpedalshowstore.com and grabbed T-shirts and merchandise and merch ye up. <laughs> merch ye up. <laughs> Sorry, we've got the town crier in. Um, <laughs> it's the predominant way we fund this show. Uh, we also have that pedal shop in the US if you want to buy stuff. Uh, please do that, US and Canada. And uh, I believe that's it, apart from our preferred exclusive retailers, which would be, Dan. Uh, in the UK, uh, we have Anderson's Music of, of Guildford and Surrey. That's the UK and Europe. And in Australia is our mates at Pedal Empire in Brisbane, Queensland. We normally do that the other way around. Um, good. Thank you very much for watching. That was instructive and interesting as usual, Dan. Wonderful. Wonderful. Brilliant. Lad guitars. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye. Bye.